Hello, hello. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, Kishore. Okay, Houston, we have a problem again. Give me one second. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Right. How are you today, guys? Bored. Bored? <laughs> Why are you bored? No problem. How's your day today? Uh, in my work. You're Very good, cool, but in my house, not okay. What happened? Uh, I have some problems. It, it has solutions, but I don't know what I do. <laughs> That's the bad. I need to travel. It's a little too bad. Well, it's good that we are back. Let's start checking the attendance. Can you hear me well? Yeah, teacher. Great. Great. Let's just see. Here. Need to set something up. You know, yesterday I actually went to sleep really late because I had to wait for my laptop to finish um, converting the file and then uploading the file. It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare last night waiting for my computer to do all that. So I'm struggling still with some technical difficulties, but let's do it. Let's start. Um, so I hope you started yesterday. Okay. Ana Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Poco. Alexander is not here right now. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides de Guizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima y Eugenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. 
Gisela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Antonio Present. Cubillas. Ok, good. Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present, teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Yeah. Mira Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Yeah. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. <risa> Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Rina. Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sandra Elizabeth Otorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Sandra, ya se le desconectó, ¿verdad? Tuve problemas con la conexión. De hecho, eh, en una de las actividades igual me sacó. Sí. Me lastimó. Bueno, habremos tenido otra oportunidad entonces. Eh, bien. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Perfecto. Thank you. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Barca. Gracias. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Vizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. Excelente. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Excelente. Ok. Let's work around things together. Okay, where were we? What do you remember about yesterday's class? Perfect models. Perfect model. Okay. What else did we talk about? I think we saw some vocabulary, right? Mm. Didn't we? Mm. Because... What vocabulary do you remember about yesterday? Uh, spooky. Spooky. What is spooky in English? Spooky is tra uh, tranquilizador. <laughs> ah, no, 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 al revés. No, no, no. Hey, come on, English. Ah, spooky, spooky. Terrified. Afraid. 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 Yeah. Horrible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Press spooky. Uh, we we are sure we are sure. Um, uh, Afraid. Death. 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 What is death? <coughs> the action to stall something to someone. Oh, the action to steal something, right? Steal, the steal, steal. That is right. Wage, 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 salary, wage, wage, salary, wage. That's true. Mm. There we go. That's better. And now uh, we are ready. Okay. So, um, yeah, we talked about that. Let me just get the lesson plan ready so we can move on. Okay. Let's go to page 33 on your manual. 
Now let's go to page 33. How do you identify areas of opportunities that require personal training? Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? And that's the point in this uh, unit to start on unit four on page 33, identify training opportunities for personal. Do you get trainings very often in your job? Yes. About what? Um, well, new off days. Um, some process will be changed, so we need to be training before we start taking some calls to provide the customer correct information. Provide the customer with proper information, you need to be trained on that topic. Yes. Hmm. Things like that. True, true. Someone else? Anybody else? Who works in an office? Does anybody work in an office? Mm. Okay, nobody else? Ada, Susana, what was the last training that you received about? It's a, it's a actualization for is the new advance, the medicine. New advances on medicine? Yes, it's a training, training, training is the resources human, uh, the employee, uh, the personnel, the administration, accountant, and salesman. Personal management, okay. Yes. Personal management is is very frequent the the training. Okay, but how do they identify areas of opportunity that require training? What do you think? How do you think they do it in your job? The opportunity is uh. No sé cómo se dice. Diplomados for new advance in medicine. Um, when you need an update, when uh, there are new ways of doing things in medicine, you need an update, you need to be updated. Okay, it is true, right? Technology, medicine, everyday changes. Fernando, how do you get updates or trained on your job? In my case, uh, is, mm, we usually uh, have to 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 buy trainings or get training by our ourselves because when I I have to to do a new a new capability or or a feature or an an application, uh, we have to re re research before that, before the do it, we have to, to, to update our knowledge for, for, do the, for doing the, that, that requirement uh, the right way. So uh, in, our, in our area uh, or in our job, in our job, uh, uh, we have to to update uh, every day with the new the new uh, Procedure. features, pr procedure features or new pro program language and new program syntax language. syntax syntax the the, 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 
to the program language uh, update uh, their syntaxes. So we have to, to, to learn again how to do that or how to do something that I, I did before, for example. But now uh, it's different, so I have to, to update that knowledge. Therefore, there are a lot of training opportunities in your workplace. Yes, yes, uh, it's dependent the area. Uh, uh, we, we have different areas. Uh, for example, I, I am a developer. Uh, uh, my co-workers, I have a co-worker. It, it is a, is a, a database management. So it's different. The, 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 our, our, our job is different in knowledge, in, in things, what I do. Okay, your roles are different. Yes. Okay, guys, so let's practice together. Let me divide you in groups so you can make these two questions, okay? How do you identify areas of opportunity that require personal training? In my case, when I was a manager, I had to, I had to identify areas of opportunity in my employees. You know, I had to say, man, this guy needs more energy. This guy needs um, people skills. You know what is people skills? How to treat others, that's people skills. How you talk to other people, okay? And yes, there were a lot of training opportunities back then. But it's good. It's always good to have areas of improvement. So go to page 33. I will send you these two questions to your um, WhatsApp so you can practice together. Let's get split. Page 33. Yes. Okie dokie. Let's go. Hi, William. Hi, Ada. Hi, Juan. Hi. Hello. Okay. One, two, one, two. Guys, can you hear me? Yeah. How do you identify the areas in the opportunities that require personal training? It's very difficult to identify. Really? Why? My goal my word is for performance. Uh, high performance in the sport, badminton, high performance, no, yeah. athlete, high performance. Athlete, yes, yes. Athlete. Athlete, athlete, high, high performance. Uh, high performance. And um, for coach, sport, mm -hmm. or sport administra administrative, the, the, um, the, the sport mm -hmm. of coordinator the sport or manager the sport mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. teacher mm -hmm. it's very it's very difficult to uh, identify the uh, opportunity it's, it's very difficult day. To identify, yes, yes. To identify is very difficult for the. Uh, usually, usually uh, training for the. Generalmente, cuando ha habido una falta. 
Yeah, English, English. Usually when there has been a fault. A fault um, is uh, a, that requires the personal, the training for personal only. It is a, it's a normally is a take personal training. <laughs> it's always personal training. Sometimes, yes. yeah, sometimes what the training needs to be um, oriented to improve your character, maybe. Yes. As an employee, yeah, it's not just procedures. Sometimes you need a, to be trained as a person. Maybe psychologically, you know, you never had the opportunity of yes. treating other people. So, in your house, for example, maybe your father didn't treat you well, and so you are now, you're angry all the time, and, and that's <laughs> your attitude. So you need a training to improve your character. That's good. Okay. What about computers? Do you think in your job, some people need training to use a fax, to use a computer? To use Excel. Use Excel, yes. The language is no frequently the, uh, the is no the personal no no is a uh, no import. <laughs> no, no, no. And, oh, did you mean that the tiny preparation? Uh huh. People <laughs> don't care about being trained. They don't think they need training. I see your point. Okay, continue, guys. Continue. Did you hear that in Spanish or in English? Which one? Or what? The prompt this session is being recorded or recorded in progress, or did you hear esta estación está siendo grabada? In English. In English? Awesome. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. I heard it in Spanish from España. The computer is trying to No, uh, it's just that I'm, up. I'm on my, I'm on the kids computer on It's it's kind of weird that your voice sounds weird. Really? Yes, wait, it's wait. like a you Okay, so you mejor eso? A little bit. It sounds like a you are in a in a in a, in a bottle, I don't know. With I sound like in a bottle. Yes, like an echo. Okay, one, two, one, two. Better? No, sounds the same. The same? Yes. Yes. Um, I guess that you are using the microphone of in front of uh, in the like computer. This, this, no, this sound, it's no, no. sound the same. Okay. Hey, what's up with your help on your you, Bigger head, hell the, the I'm on a MacBook right now. Oh wow! I don't, I don't want to say I'm on a MacBook. On a MacBook, <laughs> wait, on a MacBook Pro, MacBook of Air, a MacBook Air with Windows 10. What? <laughs> I know. With Windows. I know. Sounds a Mercedes con Nissan. Yep. That's, that's the reason just your voice is. Anyways, but you can hear me. You understand what I'm saying, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll keep testing. Okay, so what do you think? How do you identify uh, training needs in your employees? In, when, well, in, in the workplace, and actually I'm working, it's necessary every day uh, try to get a course like uh, because we, we we all the time we are talking with drivers that the prevention uh, trying to uh, for example uh, they visit a different client right and they have different rules and Routes? for example they, they uh, visit uh, different places, but every place have uh, different rules, and we need to 
uh, the people improve the, the behaviors. Um, they try to get, um, how can I say? It's different places, different rules. And that's the opportunity for us to give uh, different, how uh, can I say? Trainings. Trainings, yes, uh, or try to be at the, at the level of, of clients. There are um, a lot of opportunity to- Why, because improve. of the educational level of the drivers? Not, not education like uh, school. It's like a behavior, like, a, you know, they try to do whatever they want. It's not mm. in, that, in that situation. Uh, okay, so it's a behavior problem. Okay. Behavior. Okay, so it's not like their educational background affecting their behavior. Yes, that are, that's the main thing that we need to improve. We try to do it every day with our driver, but it's like a kindergarten with it. <laughs> it happens, okay. Yes. Okay, good. So there do you have very many training opportunities. What about you, Carol? Um, uh, it's the same company, but uh, another opportunity. Um, station. Um, we need to update. About, oh yes, update the data. Um, more organized, organized about that of the drivers of South because sometimes um, it's difficult to search. But there are a lot of information. Um, there is a lot of information. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. um, and behavior. Also. Behavior, most of all. Okay. Can you correct behavior with trainings? No. It depends about the ethical uh, ethical situations or uh, how to solve problems and uh, when sometimes involve money uh, I think okay let's see okay let's see what the others have to say Okay. Seeing. Okay, so we're back. Can somebody tell me, answer the first question? How do you identify areas of opportunities that require personal training? Uh, for example, when you, you see uh, your coworkers uh, that have problems to manipulate equipment or something like that, uh, that is an uh, uh, area of opportunity or training, I think. Yes, that's a point. You got a point there. Uh, especially depending on the age of the employee, right? Yes. If, the, if they are from the, uh, if they are, uh, oh my God, Generation X, what goes before Generation X? Maybe boomers. I can't remember. I think it was baby boomers. No, no, no. That's the reason, most reason. Okay, but you got the point, right? <laughs> they're not millennials. They're they're older than Generation X. 
oh my God, and they have to deal with the computer, they don't know what is Windows, or how to use a scanner, how to use a photocopier machine. Yeah, these are areas of improvement, okay. And if that is something they will do every day, of course, you have to train them, okay? Jocelyn, you wanted to say something? Um, not really, but I can do it, I can try. Uh -huh. Well, um, for example, in the area that I work, um, every single month there are new people that are getting to my team. So uh, our manager um, trade the people who are getting to the new to the new team and we see the quality of result, for example, the MPS, that is the customer satisfaction and we receive an out of zero we identified that training, maybe there were some areas of opportunities that they didn't understand really well. And yes, that we can identify because there is no really understanding the information when they receive an out of zero, when they are having a new call, mm. things like that. Excellent. I am not a manager, I am a, an agent, but we see the results. And we identify, oh, this, this, he is new one. She is new one. That's She's the a, reason a new why one. Okay. It's a new one. Yes. She got a zero. Wow. Oh, yes. Things like that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. I think that's very important when you are able as an employee to recognize why um, you get a zero in that case, why you're being um, given this qualification this grade, it's better because it helps you improve it. So, yes, it helps you. That's right. Okay, guys, let's go with a reading. Okay. Listen, and then we're going to practice together, okay? The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. I repeat, performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay, this is a very simple lecturing. Okay. okay, here we go. So I need two volunteers. Me, Juan. Okay, Juan. Me, Fernando. Excellent. One, two, three, action. Uh, you are Alex. Who is you? With you. You, you. Uh, you are Alex. Go on. Okay. Okay. You go, Alex. Uh, this washer I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained, complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. 
And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after training. Evaluate. evaluate. <laughs> you got it. Evaluate. Okay, great job. Hey, area of improvement for this group. Uh, he the endings. He the endings. He asked. 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 Okay. Asked. Okay, listen. So you say ask. That's the base form. The base form yes. is ask. Okay. E the ending, ask. Okay. The k right here. And then this. Ask. Okay. Ask. Next, second area of improvement for this group performance. Final sounds. Final performance. Sounds. Performance. performance. Uh -huh. Months. Month. 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 Fernando, month. 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 There you go. Month. Month. It says Z is in zebra. Okay. Month. Months. Month. Okay. Identify. 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 Let's identify. identify. Let's identify their skills. Okay. Evaluate the stress. E evaluate. 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 We have to evaluate the servers. Okay. So let's Tengo una pregunta. Este, yes, esta, 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 la comida que está después de server training eh, no tendría que estar antes de la S. <laughs> Good question. Who can answer that question? Nobody? Okay, let me answer for you, Fernando. Uh, these are possessive nouns, right? Remember? Yes. But when a noun ends ends in S, you cannot do this, you know, like, yeah, Caracas. Yeah, you just say Caracas streets, for example, are very clean. Caracas streets are very clean. Sí, si utiliza la misma S, solo que con eso se entiende que es posesivo. Posesivo now. Ajá, there you go. That's the point. Got it. Any other question, guys? No. Okay. Good. <laughs> Let's practice then. Okay. Let's do it together. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Hey, Juan, great pronunciation, man. I really admire the way you read. It's really good. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let's recreate the groups. Let's do it together. Take. How many are we? We are 19 already. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. Okay. What page? Would you like to start? Yeah, yeah, but I think that she's going to share the okay. picture. Okay, I got it. Okay. Okay. I got it. Juan? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. The dishwasher I hired a month ago. Go, go, go. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked, he asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. 
Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's, train. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay. Okay, Isela. Isela, and you? Yeah. I was, I was requesting to the teacher to submit the, the picture. Oh, you wanted to, okay, yeah. sure. Right now. Let me see if I can find a way to do it in this computer. <laughs> okay, or oh, I don't know if uh, Carla can share the. Don't worry, I got it. I, I, I remember about the snippy snapping tool. It's the snipping tool, uh -huh. yeah. It's very useful. Yeah, mostly when you don't have the. Um, that button, you know, this print screen button. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Are you going to share here yeah. or? You got it. Okay. Okay, keep going. Okay, my part is Alex, right? Yeah. Go. Yes, I think that servers need a good training. Me about finding opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a servers training for next month. Um, and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait for too long. I think service need a good training. Let identify their skill and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Training. Okay, yes. now we, okay, we change. This washer I had a month ago he wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a service training for next month and one for cashier. Performance, performance this month was not so good. So, consumers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think service need, need a good training. Let's identify their skill and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the service after the training. Evaluate. Okay. Evaluate the servers. Evaluate the service after servers. the training. Servers. Servers. Servers after servers. the training. Servers. 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 And pr servers. promote it, Yosemite. Um, promote it. Okay, wants to know about, uh, wants to know how to get promoted. Wants to know how to get. To know how to get promote. Promote it. How do you pronounce? Promote it. Promote it. Promote it. Okay. Thanks. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, now we change. Now you are Alex. <laughs> <laughs> the, the okay. Okay, okay, let's see. Carlevania is not coming up yet. There she is. Okay, we're back. I'm going to split you one more time, but before I'm going to 
breathe again. There are some words that you're getting complicated with. You shouldn't. Um, so we say dishwasher. 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 Both sounds are sh. Dish. Dishwasher. Washer. Dishwasher. 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 Better. Hired. 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 Month. 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 Better. Promoted. 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 Okay. Be careful. Asked. Ask. He asked me. He asked me. Ask me. He asked me. He asked me. Running opportunities. Schedule. Schedule. He schedule. 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 You got it, Jason. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Cashiers. 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 Okay, you say performance. 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 Complained. 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 Some customers complained about. Some customer complains about. Uh, some customers complained about. Some customer complains about. Building? Some customer so, complained some about customer complained about better. Very good. Identified uh, skills and knowledge. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Evaluate the servers after the training. Come on, guys. You can do this better. I know you can do it better. Let's practice again. I'm going to send you with another person now. Let's do it. Sorry, you sent me invitation another. <laughs> Sorry, Elvin, Elvin uh, did I send the invitation to someone else? Yeah, again, please. Yeah, okay. Right now, give me just a minute. Where are you? Oh, there you are. No acepte la primera, le voy a enviar dos veces la invitación, ¿ok? Ok. <laughs> okay. Okay. Car Carola and Renee, okay? Okay. Uh, me, Alex, sorry. <clears throat> the, this question, I heard my mom, I don't want to know how to get from her. She asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server train for next month. And one for the year performance this month was not so good. Some customers complain about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think service needs a good training. Let's identify their skill and knowledge so we can enjoy everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the server. Today. Okay. Okay. Good. You see? 
I want to schedule a server's training for the next month and one for cashier. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think service needs a good training. Let's, let's identify their skill and its knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after training. Okay. okay. Uh, change the rules? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. I am Alex one more time. Oh. Yeah. Okay, the dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Me oh, it. Very good. You. Oh. Sorry. You see. Sorry, Jose. <laughs> I want to schedule a service training for next month and one for cashiers. Performing this month was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluates the service after the training. Okay. Okay. Next. Uh, I'm going to start. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. Oh, wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me for, uh, asked me about training opportunities. Oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a service training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not, was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include, include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay. Okay. The dishwasher I hired it a month ago. The dishwasher I hired a month ago. Hired. Hired. Uh, hired. 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 Uh, hired. 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 Uh -huh. Month ago, okay. Carla, Carla, go. Mm -hmm. uh, a month ago, wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunity. Uh, vamos, asked. Ask, ask, asked. Asked. Vamos por partes. Asked. 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 Ask. Uh -huh. He asked me. He asked me. He asked me about training opportunities. 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 Mm -hmm. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server train schedule. Uh -huh. Schedule. Schedule. Better schedule. Schedule a server. Training for next month. Month. 
and went for cashiers performance this per month. Okay, the stress is time for performance. Uh, performance this month was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their identify skill, identify their skill and knowledge. Ahí so todo están diciendo skills es skills en, es en plural. Let's skills. let's identify their skills and knowledge. Skills their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Good, very good. Okay, let's go back. Okay, good job. Awesome. Okay, please don't forget to turn on your camera. It's very important for us to have the camera on, especially when we do the attendance, right? So please turn on your camera. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Listen, teacher. Thank you. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Okay. Claudia Maricela Solano Crispin. Present teacher, I'm here. Thank you. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Hello. Present. Me, Ivania. Sí, Ivania, sí. Present. Thank you, Elvin. Okay, uh, Claudia Maricela dijo present, ¿verdad? Yes, present. Thank you. <laughs> Fátima y Fegenia López Ramos. Ada, creo que Fátima estaba muy enferma, ¿verdad? Pues yo la vi ahora y parece que se sentía mejor, pero no sé si en el transcurso de la tarde habrá puesto más. Okay. Pero estaba con fiebre ayer. Es que es la, es la vacuna que se puso, bueno. Y con la primera estuvo con vómitos y con malestar esa, completo. Esa, esa vacuna no sirve. Anyways. Bueno. Dice, a mí tres días me dolió el brazo. Es mejor ir al hospital neumológico. A mí me pusieron la Pfizer, que es la más fuerte. Y no me dio ni nada. Por, ni a mí tampoco. No, no, es que la Pfizer es la más Ojo, no si, no se han vacunado, si no se han vacunado, pónganse la Pfizer. Eso no, no se siente nada. La moderna no sirve. No. I got the moderna. No, oh, la moderna a mí me dio vómito, diarrea, temperatura, no, 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 no. de cabeza. Ok. <laughs> Let's continue, guys. I'm sorry. Ok, José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Eh, se saltó mi nombre. Sí, me salté a Fernando Ernesto. Gracias. <laughs> Morales. Thank you. Hice la Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Hoy sí, José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Yanet, Amaya Herrera. Present. Thank you, Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Thank you, Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Excellent. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present, teacher. Alan Christopher Abrego Grisuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. 
Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Excelente. Okay. Bien, Alexander no nos tuvo otra. Extraño, ¿eh? Okay, so let's see who wants to participate and read. Let's see who I never hear about. Let's have Sandra Elizabeth and Carolina. And then we have Ada and Jose Antonio, okay? Okay. Let's do it. Me, Alex. Okay. Uh, Okay, the the dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get premier. He asked me about training opportunity. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for next month and one for cashier cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a gun training. Let's ident uh, sorry, identify their skull, skill and its knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Good, very good. Okay, um, again, final sounds, guys. Let's repeat until we get it, okay? I hired a month ago. The dishwasher I hired a month ago. I hired a month ago. The dishwasher I hired Ojo con esto. ¿Qué pasa acá? Hay una R entremezclada. Con la R quiero que siempre penses que vas a enrollar la lengua hacia atrás. Tu lengua se va a enrollar hacia atrás y luego la vas a soltar. En este caso, hire está en pasado simple, ED. Entonces vas a hacer el sonido D, D al final de la palabra. Entonces vamos a hacer un esfuerzo máximo. Enrollamos la lengua hacia atrás al decir hire. Higher. 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 Okay. Higher. Okay. Ahora soltamos la lengua y decimos the higher. 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 Better. Higher. Very good. I hired I a month hired. ago. A month ago. Sandra, sería I hired a month ago. I hired a month ago. A month ago. A month ago. Better. A month ago. Better. Mm -hmm. Get promoted. Okay. Promoted. 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 Better. Thank you. Promoted. Yep. Carolina, promoted. month. 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 Yeah. Month. Muchos month. están diciendo month, chicos. Es, es una TH, es una Z. Month. Month. There you go. Okay. I think servers need a good training, Sandra. A good training. A good training. Mm -hmm. Skills. Repeat. Skills. 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 Ahora, Skills. No hay una E antes de la S. S. Entonces mm -hmm. digo Skills. Skills. Perfect. Skills. Skills. There you go. Skills. Skills. Mm -hmm. Skills. Knowledge. 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 Mm -hmm. Ajá, no hay una S ahí antes. And knowledge. 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 It's knowledge. It's knowledge. Mm -hmm. No, sorry, sorry. Knowledge. 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 Perfect. There you go. Let's do that, Carolina. Let's do, Let's that. do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, no, it's let. Uh -oh. No, let. Let. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Very good. Okay, Ada. Okay. Your classmate. Okay. The dishwasher he hired, he ha I hired a month ago wants to know how to promote it. He asked me about training. 
Training uh, opportunity. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a service training for next month in one for catchers. Performing this month was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think service needs good a training. Let's identify their skill and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that and don't forget we have to evaluate the service after the training. Good, okay, come on. Repeat, cashiers. Cashiers. Better, performance. Performance. Better, customers. Customers. Complained. Complained. Better, complained. Okay, yes, I think servers. Se me seguía diciendo service, other servers. Server. Uh -huh. Let's identify. Identify. There you go. Identify. Very good. Identify. Very good. Okay, any other volunteer to try? Johnny? Okay. <laughs> okay, Johnny's like, I can't intentar. No sé. Me, okay, Ivania and Johnny. One, two, three, go. The uh, dishwasher I hired a month ago want to know how to get to Mori. He asked me about training opportunity. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a service training for next month and one for the cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skill and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the service after the training. Good job. Okay. Hey, some intonation ago. A month ago. A go. Repeating a month ago. 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 Uh huh. Do they you you ago? Ago. Ago. Better. Okay. Cashiers. One for cashiers. 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 Okay. Again, identify. Johnny, identify. I Identify, identify. And don't forget the final sounds, their skills. Skills. It's plural, okay. Good job, let's move on. Now do you have four questions, I think? Yeah, four questions. So we need to discuss the following questions um, in couples or groups. Who is asking for a promotion? What did the customers complain about? What staff will receive training? What steps will Alex and Rick take for the training? Mm. Watch out. What steps will they take for the training? Mm. Okay, so I need you to answer these four questions in groups. I will send you a screenshot right now of the questions to your group. And remember, our job right now is to speak a lot. Let's go, let's go.
The teacher is in the house. Don't just look for the answers. Discuss the answers. Why what did the customer to... complain about? The customer complained about uh, well, having having waiting to wait too long time. Wait too long time having to wait for a long time. They wait. They wait a long for a long time. For too long. They wait. They wait for too long. They too have long. to wait for too long. Mm -hmm. I guess. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, did. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. To wait. Did. What to do? Sorry, no, no, no. I was just, I thought I was answering to Isela, but don't worry. <laughs> what is that? What? What? Uh huh. Continue. What staff will receive? Receive training. And the servers need a train. Identify the skill and knowledge. So we need to train. Cashier. The cashier and the server, right? The cashier and the server. So mm -hmm. about having... Okay. Entonces, the tres de cashiers and servers. Okay. What staff will Alex and Rick pay for the training? Don't forget we had to, uh, they will evaluate their servers after the training. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, they, they will evaluate the servers after the training. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Answer number one. Who is asking? Uh -huh. So the third, third, third steps. Is uh, uh, the training? No. Um. Then in the training, um, step will be yeah, yeah, for the training. We yeah. Receive the training and the last is evaluate after the evaluate training. Evaluate the training after the training. Uh huh. Yeah. Does it feel? First Don't. is, is about training opportunities. Yeah. Then identify, no, identify, 
identify uh -huh. skills and knowledge. Yes, okay. that's correct. And then? Then is... Include? Include... No, no. No. No, is is um, knowledge only. Oh, only, only, only that is it. Only that, yeah. okay. And and and, 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 and knowledge. And then receive the training. Receive the training. And, try, mm -hmm. and final evaluate. Or, and finally evaluate after the training. After the training. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Four steps. I think four steps. Okay. Yes. We got it. What stuff? What did the customer complain? What's the what did the customer complain? Mm -hmm. And number three, what is what stuff we receive? What the start we receive what was yours? Yeah, more so, okay. Thank But the old what one, step, what a step will Alex and Rick take for the training? For the training. Um, identify. identify their skills and knowledge. And so they can include everything that they need in the training. Okay. Training. Yes. Uh, very good. I don't know if someone else wants to ask or or try yeah. to answer. Okay. Me. Um. Okay. The first question is, who is asking for a promotion? The dish, the dishwasher asking for a promotion. Okay. Yeah, all right. And what did the customer complain about? Um, complain about having to wait for too long. Yes. Okay. And what staff will receive the training? Receive the training. Receive training. Receive, 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 receive. receive training. Uh, the server. Server. Okay. And what steps will Alex and Rick? take for the training? I identify and knowledge. Their skills. So we can include the skills and knowledge. Skills and knowledge. And knowledge. And and and, and knowledge. And knowledge. Okay. Let's see who has not read. I think that only uh, mm -hmm. Carolina. Carolina. The, yeah. the question. Okay. She's missing to, to read the question. Who is asking for a promotion? The dishwasher. Okay, uh, what did the customers complain about? If Carla can respond that, okay. can answer Carla? that. <laughs> Carla, can you respond this question? Can you okay. answer in this question? From customer. Yeah. Sorry, repeat, please. Okay. 
What did the customers complain about? The servers. The servers, yeah. What staff will receive training? I think that the last uh, answer um, yes, was the, not the correct one. It's not the servers. Yeah. Answer. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you can try to 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 correct yourself and give the the correct answer for the previous one. The complain about having to wait for too long. Yeah. 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 complain about having to. Teacher Hutley. What's up? Hutley. With water. Oh yeah, I have to drink a lot of water. We have to drink a lot of water. Okay, my whole body aches because I'm. I've been lifting weights for three days. <laughs> Just three days. <sighs> Every morning I'm like, oh, you know, waking up out of the bed. <laughs> it's crazy when you just begin to do exercise. Okay, let's see. So who has the first answer? The dishwasher. <laughs> Who's asking for a promotion? The dishwasher, of course. Okay. What did the customers complain about? They had to wait for a long time. They had to wait for a long time. Has that ever happened to you? Yes. <laughs> At a restaurant? Some days ago. I don't know. Some days ago. A la pupusería. Yes. Oh my God. One hour, two hours. La decora en antiguo. <laughs> wow. It's too long. Okay. What staff will receive training? Cashiers and servers. Server. Okay. Server. And more important, what steps will Alex and Rick take for the training? They will evaluate their service as short training. That's it. Let's identify their skills oh. and knowledge so knowledge. we can include. Yes. Yeah, they yeah. have to evaluate skills evaluate. and knowledge. And, okay, so let's work on this. The next step for you to do is organize uh, training for your staff. Okay, you have to number the steps in the correct order, but also create a training. So, aquí es donde yo necesito que ustedes se vuelvan súper creativos, que hagan de caso que tienen su propia empresa y todo, todo chivo. ¿Qué training le vas a dar a los empleados? Okay. Usualmente en todo trabajo, como que cuando empezaste, te entrenan en ciertas cosas, ¿verdad? Desde cómo contestar el teléfono en algunos casos hasta cómo dirigirte a ciertos clientes, ¿no? Ok, so... Como los speech. Ajá. Uh -huh. Cabal, cabal. So, this should be very simple, ok? In every company you have a manual of procedures, a manual of positions, but... It's up to you. If you want to create a new position, okay, you are going to train your employees. So let's analyze the job. What do they do? Let's talk about a cashier. What do they do? They receive money, okay, but I think they need change before receiving the money, right? Before. Uh, charging the customers, they need to have some change on the on the drawer, right? On the cash, cashier drawer. Okay, what skills 
in knowledge do does a cashier require? What skills and knowledge do you think they need? A cashier has to, to manipulate the the register como se box, no so, como se dice acá registradora. The cashier. The cashier. Mm -hmm. um, they, they had a, a good uh, skills for for, for uh, uh, handle money. Handle to handle money. money, okay. They have um, to be smart. The political. They have political. to be smart, William. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Smart in what sense? Uh, because uh, he count money. They count money, a lot of money. Okay. So they have to think fast. Yeah. Think fast, yes. Think fast. Okay. Mm, what giver. else? Good result giver. Good result giver. Mm. A solutions giver. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, they need to be a solvers, not people who create problem. Okay, solvers, they need to be fast solvers. But also about mathematics, what about mathematics? They need uh, to be good in mathematics. Really good, extremely good. Yeah. Mm, not really good, but basic. they need to know. Basic knowledge to add oh. and, okay, okay, good. Okay, what do you think that bus drivers do, those buseros? How do they do, the bus drivers? <laughs> Have you noticed? They're yeah. driving and they're doing the math really quick, right? Like organizing the coins. It's crazy. Okay, <laughs> that's a lot of work. Okay, so those are the skills for the position. So figure out, you know what's the meaning of figure out? Yes. Yes, to descubrirse. Descubrir. Ah. <laughs> okay. So figure out, figure out a way. Figure out uh, a position. Okay. And what you want to do. Okay. What training you're going to teach, basically, to new staff. Okay. Follow the steps if you want or come up with other steps you're going to give on the training, okay? In groups, you're going to create a training. So let's do it. Are we clear? Yes. Yes, come on, let's do it. Let's show me what you got. Do your best right now, okay? Let's do it. Mm. Let me share the screen. screen. How do you organize training for your staff? Number of step in the correct order. Analyze the job, the same skill and knowledge tasks, implement training, evaluate, identify. Identify personal points, skill and knowledge, identify training solution. So, well, what it means in identify training solution. Identify personal score and skill and knowledge. Identify God as would be the principal from identify personal Current current skill and skill knowledge and knowledge that is the first step first step yeah. mm. or mm, perhaps mm. Mm, analyze yeah. The job and then identify personal score and skill knowledge and then mm. decide skill and knowledge skill gaps. Skill and skill gap. Analyze, Analyze the job, the first mm -hmm. step. 
or not? What do you think? Mm. For me, identify for me? training solution and for implement training. But what about the evaluate performance after training? Is this is last. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. If it is analyze the yeah, job one. Number one, yeah. Repeat a skill and knowledge gaps. Letter is two. The implement training three. No. Uh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Number two one, is identify personal. Identify, identify personal. personal. Yes. Three implement training. No. Decide it's skill. Decide skill, no gaps. For implement training. Yeah. Sorry, which one is the which is the second one? Identify personal current okay. skill and knowledge. Knowledge. Oh, okay. I identify training solution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And evaluate performance after training. Yes. yes. Final. Yeah. Teacher, yeah. what do you think? The microphone is mute. I cannot. See, I mean, you are not sharing. Nobody's sharing the book, so I don't know what answers you gave. <laughs> but that's easy. Um, let's see. Analyze the job. Evaluate performance. No, no. Identify personal current skills and knowledge. Hmm. Okay. Decide skills and knowledge gaps. Okay. Identify training solutions. Implement the training and then evaluate performance after the training. Yeah. Okay. That's easy. Now, one question. How would you do that? How would you evaluate the performance after the training? So create your own training. That's your goal right now. You have to create your own training. Mm. About the results, resolve uh, the satisfied, uh, if the customer is they are satisfied or what else? Mm. Uh, remember that it's a training uh, to give oh. to give knowledge to your servers or mm -hmm. to your employees to your employees right so how do you evaluate if they understood the training if they understood their new knowledge so yeah, a survey, a survey with questions about the training, right? I am practice too. Uh huh. And practice scenarios. You can create scenarios. And let ask for example. Hey, what would you do if a drunk comes to the restaurant? A person comes intoxicated to the restaurant. What do you do? For example. Okay, think, think about it. Create your own training. Then implement training. Um, finally, evaluate performance after training. Okay. 
Okay. And implement training. What else? Um, when our when when organized training in my job, only I need to in identify the the tasks. Implement training, identify training skills. That is all. Okay. 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 Vamos a arreglarlo. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, first, identify personal needs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The second one. Uh -huh. About uh, evaluate performance. Evaluate performance, okay. Um, the size. The size to acknowledge gap. Okay, evaluate performance and then what did you say before, uh, Ivania? Sorry. On the size skill and uh, number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Claudia, you mentioned something. Uh, implement training. Or for mm -hmm. analyze it. Forty. 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 years. Uh, oh, yeah, four years. Okay, is is um woman, man or woman? What do this? <laughs> no matter. Sorry. Female. No, no binary. No matter. <laughs> Female. No. Female. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I can't. He said, Experience. Single or married. Um, uh, for me, it sounds better. Most, most have two years of experience. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can you, can you try to, to correct that word? That word. Okay, what I'll say? What more? What more? Teacher, we need to create a, like a list of the other requirements to to get the that job. You need to um, understand the position as you're doing requirements, okay. But what training needs will you have? What what training are you going to implement for this new employee? 
I think that we, that we need to implement a training to to inform about the importance of the of the security at the moment to to take the the road. But I don't know how to say like like security la colocación como seguridad vial. Road security or road security mm -hmm. you can you can say that or the customer service mm, yeah the driver if he's going to have contact with their customers yes mm -hmm. yeah. okay i think that, that that would be a training for road security and and um the first aid Sorry. First, first aid. First aid. Primero auxilios. Ah. First aid. I don't know to say that. Like, uh, I'm the first aid. Uh, the, what is first the aid? Address. Oh. First aid. Sorry. Primero auxilios. Yeah. First. Could you um, type friend. the the word in the chat? It's on the chat. What what word? Okay, let me check. Uh, good health condition. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can see. I can see now. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get sick. Oh. Okay. But I think that now we we have an idea. So. Have an idea. So this is to to implement a training for the for the truck driver. Yeah, so it would be about security road and about uh, the I don't know how to define it. How, how about being focused? How about being focused while driving? Being focused while driving. When while driving, in focus while oh, the, driving. The other the other thing that is important is about me mechanic. Uh huh. Yeah. Like a yeah, basic a point. basic training about mechanic. Uh, a, by, a basic knowledge, knowledge about mechanic. Mechanic. Mm -hmm. okay. so that uh, Jose, pon los training. Second. Okay, we're almost done. So, what do you think about this? And Sandra, what is your opinion about it? Okay, are we ready to make an exposition about the training needs? How are you going to um, explain the training that you're going to take to give? Mm, I have, we have a doubt about uh, the, the four identified training solution. And you know, if we need to implement the training after 
to identify the training solution or put or in the before implement the training identify training solutions let's see let's see what the others have to say okay let's find out <laughs> okay Okay, so let's look at your answers really quick. Uh, we're going to have a little exposition tomorrow when we start the class as of how will you deliver a training. So what is number one? What will be number one? Analyze the job. Analyze the job. Is that right, guys? What do you think? Analyze the job. What do you think, everybody? I think that you need for it, um, like identify personal current skills and knowledge. Okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I, I agree, yeah. Analyzing the job is very important. What do they do in that position, right? What they should do in that position in theory. And then, number two. Identify personal current skill and knowledge. Knowledge, identify personal current skills and knowledge. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Fernando, do you agree? Yeah, right. Okay, that will be number two then. Okay. Now, what's number three? Skills and knowledge gaps. Besides skills and knowledge gaps. Why besides skills? Maybe you need to implement other skills for the position. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Number four. Identify training solution. solution. Okay, for these gaps, right? You have gaps, okay, to fill. So you need to go and identify training solutions. Let's find out, okay, how can we train them to acquire this, these skills? Um, for example, Feel. if you need, if you need the cashier, to count the, the bills, to count the bills really fast. Have you noticed on the bank how they do that? Like, you go like, oh, right? That's a skill. That's a skill. So how do you acquire that skill? Okay, number five. Implement, Implement training. training. Implement the training, that's right. And last, you evaluate, evaluate the performance after the training. Why Why do you need to evaluate the performance after the training? To confer the, uh, is what's actually the, the objective or how do you pronounce? If how do you pronounce objective? Yeah, you were right. If the objective was achieved, achieved. The objective was achieved. And yeah. Therefore, yes. identifying uh, improvement uh, opportunities for for next trainings, or next trainings to find out if the if the training was effective, right? To identify the impact of the training, did it work? Okay, you know what? We can continue having trainings once a month, once every three months. That's good. Okay. Excellent. Okay, guys, let me let me do the attendance before we leave, and then we're going to have a small conversation. Okay, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Oh, you came here. 
Excellent, good. Um, Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Excellent. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Elvin Asides y Isabel Martínez. Present. Fátima y Pejeni López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Nice. Eh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, aún nos faltan cinco <laughs> minutos. Carla <laughs> Yanet, Amaya Herrera. Present. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz, Landa Verde. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Thank you. Rina Marisabel Álvarez Chávez. Present. Thank you. Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. William, eh, Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Thank you. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. Eh, José Ángel Martínez Hernández. And Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Ok, thank you. Uh, bien, antes de moverme al último punto, Sandra Elizabeth, no sé si se puede quedar unos 10 minutitos conmigo después de la clase. Yes. Ok. Good. Ok, bien chicos, eh, nos quedan aún cuatro minutos. Quiero eh, agradecerles por la tolerancia que han tenido con estos problemas técnicos, pero eh, ya, muy pronto los resuelvo, pues si vamos. Eh, Recordar de, de, de la plataforma, es muy importante que la completemos esta semana, más tardar el, el viernes. Ya debe ser terminado eso, puesto que terminamos el lunes 16, eh, este módulo. Eh, recordarles también que hay que, eh, no sé si ya todos enviaron su documentación para la inscripción del siguiente módulo, el intermedio 2. ¿Sí? Ok, yes. Ok, bien. Entonces, si eso está bien, va a un viento en, viento en popa, como dice, y va a ser bien rápido el inicio del siguiente módulo. Yo creo que lo están programando para el, para el 18, el 18 o, o el 23. No sé, vamos a esperar. Eh, no sé si voy a estar con ustedes, todo depende de, de la administración y de um, la encuesta de satisfacción que ustedes que llenaron también. Eh, pedirles de favor que hagan la bulla, ¿verdad? Para que tengamos siempre alumnos y podamos seguir con estas becas que son gratuitas para ustedes. Eh, y motivarlos a una cosa, porque he notado que aún algunos están así como un poco renuentes, que no, ¿verdad? Y qué pereza, y yo sé que el trabajo es pesadísimo, eso se los comprendo muchísimo. Pero eh, ya este punto tienes que tomarte bien en serio el inglés. Porque ya tienes que estar llegando al nivel en el que tienes que expresar tus ideas, lo que tú pensas. Les decía desde el primer día, ya no es el intermedio, ya no es um, estar leyendo diálogos, eh, ver ejemplos. Si te fijas, ahorita en adelante, todo el intermedio, el avanzado, es de mucho pensamiento. Así, vas a ver cosas que ni te imaginabas que existían dentro de tu empresa, quizás ni existen, pero te van a servir gerencia de recursos humanos. Estamos empezando a hablar un poquito de trainings, de entrenamiento, necesidades de, necesidad de entrenamiento. Ya vas a hablar marketing, vamos a hablar de marketing, cómo poner una marca en el mercado desde cero hasta que caduce la, la marca. Eh, comprobar la efectividad del lanzamiento de marca, todo eso. Y e incluso en el intermedio 6, si no lo recuerdo, 5, vas a ver, eh, vas a crear un producto. 
con tus compañeros. Eso es interesantísimo, no tienes idea. Eh, con unos alumnos creamos una pizza de chicharrón una vez y la lanzamos al mercado. O sea, todo siempre dentro de la clase, pero fue súper, súper entretenido. O sea, los compañeros se clavaron tanto que hasta presentaciones hacían en Prezi y todo de cómo van a lanzar el producto. Y uno dijo que lo iba a hacer, no sé si lo habrá hecho, la verdad. Entonces, es muy bonito, ¿sí? Pero tienes que poner de tu parte, ser creativo y soltar. Ya hablar, perder el miedo. Ok, I'll see you tomorrow. Please complete the platform. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Ok, Miss Osorto, buenas noches. Ok, buenas noches. Estamos. Ah, ah, bien, bien, bien. Este, yo tenía una consulta con relación a una de las tareas que está en la plataforma. Uh -huh. eh, sí, la, sí la completé, pero es este, porque alguien en el chat puso cuál era la respuesta, pero me queda la duda. Porque acá dice que hay que hacer uso de Will. Y... Eh, la oración es, I can come with you on Sunday. I, yo había colocado, I will have a training at the restaurant. Pero siempre me salía mala. Entonces alguien puso que la respuesta ahí es, I'm having. Entonces, yo quiero saber por qué es esa respuesta y no es, I have. No, perdón, I will have. De hecho, ambas pueden ser, ¿no? Pero en lo que ah. hemos visto dentro del módulo es el presente continuo. Uh -huh. I am having. Ajá. Y el presente continuo se puede ocupar tanto como para futuro. ¿Ok? Ahora, vamos al uh -huh. ejemplo de la vida real. Eh, si lo que voy a decir, no estoy por ciento seguro de que lo voy a llevar a cabo, ocupo will. Sí, que es como el futuro incierto, ¿no? Que vamos a decir, I will, lo haré. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I will okay. have, decía, I will have, tendré. Mm. Uh -huh. Es diferente a decir, I am going to have, yo voy a tener. Ok, uh -huh. usando uh -huh. el ING, uh, de igual manera, se traduce prácticamente, yo voy a tener, es más seguro. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, ok, ahora sí me queda claro, porque eran dos. Ahora, uh -huh. eh, justo ahora estaba conversando con alguien que he logrado identificar que tengo problemas para, la, para, para pronunciar la letra S, la T, la F, S, T, F y la R. He tratado de hacer ejercicios con lo de la letra R, uh -huh. la lengua enrollada hacia atrás, uh -huh. para poderlo pronunciar. Siento que más o menos he mejorado, pero ¿qué ejercicios usted me pudiera recomendar con la letra F, la S? Eh, usted ya nos dio unos tips. Ajá. Uh -huh. Mire, ejercicios, hay que guardarse, hay que guardarse el audio. Ajá. Porque la F, um, ok, F. la F, F viene de la V. Entonces, uh -huh. con la V no voy a soplar, sino que solo es vibra el aire y le pica. Incluso a veces uno, drive, uh -huh. ok, drive, lift, uh -huh. life. Ajá, así, con la F sí soplo, con la V no, con la V me vibra el labio inferior. Ahora, con la S, mire, yo he, me he quedado sorprendido porque en el módulo anterior eh, tuve una alumna que ya sabía inglés, así, ya sabía inglés. Toda su vida estudiando inglés, me dijo la señora, ya tenía 60 años casi. Y me dijo, aprendí inglés a la fuerza porque mi hermana gemela, toda la vida, como ella aprendió desde chiquita ya sola, me dice, toda la vida presionándome para que yo hablara inglés, entonces a la fuerza se me quedó. Pero tengo este problema, me dijo, cabal, decía skill, stay, stop. 
Uh -huh. Estuden, entonces, como somos salvadoreños, eh, no existen palabras en español que empiecen con S. Entonces, ¿cómo lo corregimos con ello? Me quedé, me fui de espalda ese día que lo logramos y fue súper rápido. Se me ocurrió, bueno, hay que ejercitar, hay que agarrar aire y de soltar solo la S, las, con los dientes cerrados y decir, estuden. Uh -huh. Y seguir con, lo, con la consonante, ¿no? Con el sonido consonante. ¿Qué es el problema? Después de la S viene la consonante y el cerebro. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se lee eso? La sprite. Student. Ella lo hizo en el momento conmigo. Hacía una sesión privada. Y agarró aire hasta que ya no aguante, suelte. Y entonces suelta la consonante. Y cabal. Mm -hmm. Y empezó. Y empezó. Desde entonces, en todas las clases, jamás volvió a cometer ese error. Entonces, sí se puede, pero es práctica. Sí, sí. sí. Con la S, okay. la F. Uh, F. Uh -huh. F. F. Al principio no es difícil, pero al final es, no. y de hecho es la misma posición de los labios. Left. 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 Uh -huh. Left. 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 Y mire, uh -huh. yo, Sandra, definitivamente les recomiendo lo que siempre digo a los alumnos es escucharse uno mismo uh -huh. porque toda la vida nos dijeron que hablarnos a nosotros mismos era una locura y todo lo no dejamos de hacer Entonces, hay que retomar eso sentir lo que uno está diciendo escucharse ¿verdad? para eh, y eso sí tener un ejemplo esa página de Youglish que les envié ayuda mucho como ustedes primera vez que estamos ¿verdad? Yes, sí uh -huh. Aquí una página que yo siempre en las primeras sesiones uno a uno les recomiendo. En su había una, sí, había una que usted recomendó que es Just Minute. Just a Minute, eso era un, video, un video de YouTube. Es como eh, un programa. No, es un. No. Ah, no, eso es un. <ríe> es ah. un programa británico. Sí, es un Ajá. programa británico excelente, de verdad, le digo, eso es adictivo es estarlo viendo si uno lo entiende. Imagínese tener que, tener que hablar por un minuto de un tema sin repetir ni una palabra. Ajá. Es difícil, Ajá. están locos los británicos con eso porque son muy inteligentes. Ahí le envío un link. Así se ahorita lo estoy viendo. <risa> Gracias. Vaya, ese es sí. un índice de audios y lecturas, más de 250 audios con lecturas, que es lo que yo les sugiero en la primera sesión a los estudiantes. Eh, agarre indiscriminadamente una de esas lecturas. Son diálogos uh -huh. entre dos personas. Son, están hablados bien natural, entonces baje o imprima o copie en un cuaderno que solo dedique al inglés o, eh, uh -huh. lo que ahí dice. No importa lo que dice en español. Yo no quiero saber qué dice en español. Regla número uno. Número uh -huh. dos. Primero dos días. Yo solo voy a leer con la vista. Y escuchar el audio. Nada más. Uh -huh. Tercer día empiezo a leer. Sin entonar. Solo voy leyendo en lo que escucho. Con mis labios nada más. Cuarto día. Lo mismo. Y al quinto día puedo empezar a intentar entonar. Entonar el sexto, séptimo día, ya una vez yo sienta confianza ya en mí mismo, me autocorrijo. Y eso es muy importante. Me grabo, uh -huh. me grabo con el celular leyendo lo que ahí dice. ¿eh? Y al tener esa, esa seguridad, me grabo, dejo el audio ahí. Voy a la computadora y a las dos cosas al mismo tiempo: la computadora y el audio en el celular, les doy play y empiezo a escucharme. Escucha. Dije mal eso. Qué chivo me sale. Uf. Y empiezo a corregir. No hay nada mejor uh -huh. que lograr corregir su emoción. Y, y el problema que yo tengo es que empiezo a leer y es, de, de, o sea, es en la cabeza, no lo pronuncio. Y para mí yo lo estoy pronunciando bien, pero a la hora que usted dice Sandra, y yo, ups, y empiezo a leer y no sé por qué me trabo tanto, pero en mi mente sí lo pronuncio bien. Entonces, me da un es, poquito de nervios. Me da un yo creo que, 
la verdad es que eso es. Uh -huh. es normal, Ajá. Es normal. Pero Ajá. no se preocupe, la práctica le va a ayudar. Créame, haga ese ejercicio, pruébelo. Una semana por cada eh, diálogo que ve ahí, cada audio. Y hasta el séptimo día, o el octavo, si quiere, el decir, traduce lo que ahí dice, entiende el vocabulario. Uh -huh. okay. ok, y oh, tengo una última duda uh -huh. con relación a la palabra de, usted estaba diciendo y dio un tips bien importante que por lo menos supe cómo emplearlo, por ejemplo, cuando va acompañado de una vocal se dice, por ejemplo, the apple y si es una consonante es the pencil, por ejemplo, ahora, yo escucho a otros que eh, no, lo, no lo pronuncian así, sino que dicen that. The apple. Ajá, the apple, the pencil. Entonces. Muchos británicos, muchos. Uh, muchas okay. personas de color. En Estados Ajá. Unidos, que son da, da, mm, Inglés, eh, ¿cómo le decimos? Caliche, inglés, callejero. Ah, Miren, okay. en la vida real, Sandra, así como nosotros violamos mucho la gramática en español, lo mismo ocurre en Estados Unidos, la misma cosa. De hecho, hablan en presente, mucho mucho en presente, aunque tendrían que decirlo en pasado. O sea, okay. ah, si uno sabe qué, ¿por qué está hablando así? <risa> Cuando uno es nativo, pero así suele ocurrir. Ok, entonces ahora sí, gracias por aclararlo porque yo después me quedé, son entonces tres formas de pronunciarlo y, y usted pues nos enseñó, porque yo toda la vida era de Apple, de, ¿cómo es? de Apple, pero the ahora ice, que es, ice cream. Uh -huh. ajá, exacto, sí, pero ya cream. usted nos dio ese tip uh -huh. y entonces sí, pero luego escuché, no, es dar. Ahora, mm. si algo es muy, muy importante, digo the, okay? mm -hmm. the Bible, the Bible, porque para mí es única. Entonces, eso sí se da en los americanos. Okay? The, the United States, let's decir, los americanos dicen uh -huh. the United States, porque para ellos es el mejor país. ¿verdad? Y la U suena como U, como J, digamos, the, ¿Sí? the Union, the United States. La única regla ahí, la única uh -huh. excepción. Ok, ok, okay teacher, creo que Gusto solamente. Salir. Muchas okay, gracias. Good gracias. night. Good Enjoy. night.